So I feel like I got to give y'all some more reasons to stay out of the water. All right, these are some of the craziest things captured by fishermen. Let's go. To fish, an angler reeled in an unusual catch okay. while fishing in the Allegheny. Wow, look at this thing. This is crazy. This truly bizarre video is making rounds on social media that shows a fish with a human-like face instead of a normal fish face. When it comes to fishing, there are all kinds of surprises that you can never fathom and are waiting to be found. <laughs> Look at them. Massive, weird, or wild. Wow. Stay tuned for some of the wildest fishermen catches that shocked the whole world. Dinosaur! Freddy Krueger Fish. Perfect name. Mm. We didn't win. In December 2020, villagers in Krabby, Thailand were horrified when a fisherman caught an unusual fish that resembled the horror film character Freddy Krueger. The man discovered the strange-looking fish in brackish water near the sea in Krabi province. Initially mistaking it for muddy leaves, he was startled by its black pellet-shaped eyes and its appearance, resembling an angry man's face with gnarled skin and threatening eyes. The fisherman carefully separated the deformed fish from the others, placing it in a special basket, and hurried home. Excited, he showed the peculiar catch to friends, sparking terror among villagers who couldn't believe a fish could resemble a character from a horror movie. Vampire-looking fish. <laughs> Teeth might be yeah, that's definitely, if it bites you, it's definitely sucking out all the blood in your leg, bro. Like vampires, but the direction within which it points is what makes this fish look even more spooky. Mexican fishermen who caught this fish were left confused and curious when they noticed a tooth trigger fish at the end of their line. Having never seen the fish species before in their decades of fishing experience, they called it to be vampire-looking fish, at its reddish vampire-like teeth protruding outwards from its jaws, making it seem almost like it recently feasted over its prey's reddish bodily fluid. Red tooth trigger fish are mostly prevalent in the African East Coast to far north as southern Japan, as far as the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. Arctic Giant. It's out. It's a big animal. This is massive. This is huge. Having to catch anything under a thick sheet of ice may seem next to impossible until incidents like these prove otherwise. One chain. Oh! Yes, 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 yes. In April 2018, Jeremy Wade, while helping a local Inuit man in carving a hole in the thick ice, peering into the hole for a half a mile long net that was deployed, their persistence paid off as they pulled out a surprise catch of a rare Greenland shark. Unfortunately, the freezing conditions and icy water took a toll on the wounded shark, rendering its survival impossible. Covered in a toxic layer of urea, the crew decided to feed it to a pack of dogs. I was about to ask, can you even eat that? But nah, I can see clearly they can't. Ensuring it wouldn't go to waste and continued their icy hunt. Double-headed catfish. A catfish that has a head on either side such as this looks more like an error rather than a typical case of deformity or mutation. In April 2020, anglers in Southeast Asia caught a catfish that had two heads on either side of its body. Mutated or deformed animals normally expire not long after birth. The story of this two-headed catfish is different. <laughs> Surprising viewers and- I don't know. I might still eat that. I don't know. I can't lie, I thought about it. And even the researchers, seeing the Siamese twins that somehow managed to survive. Apart from bodily mechanisms, it is a miracle for this two-headed catfish to not only avoid predators, but also to thrive. Co-joined fishes. It was an average fishing day until Debbie hooked the catch of a lifetime. Though fishermen usually look for ideal catches to either sell or feed on, this one was rather an exceptional case. Wow, look at this thing, this is crazy. This clip of two co-joined fishes was shared by a fisherman who amazed that these fishes were able to survive and thrive despite their condition. Decided to keep them around in his aquarium. Interestingly, both these fishes, despite their deformity, were able to survive and look quite healthy. I ain't gonna lie, I might fry those up too. Yeah, I might. Desert fish. Of all the places, finding a fish in the desert is 
not just shocking, but also raises a question of how it could have ended up here. A recording that went viral on TikTok in December 2023 showed armored catfish belonging to the Hopperstam littoral species that was seen passing through the dunes in the national park of Lenques Marinissus of Brazil. It was seen by a small group of explorers seeing the fish that has adapted to this by being able to cross the dunes to find the next lagoon that is formed in between the dunes by seasonal rainwater hidden in plain sight. There it is, uh, not a stone, but a stone fish. The size and sheer ferocity of most apex predators might make them intimidating, whereas you would never see this one coming until it's too late. Stonefishes have a stone-like body texture that allows them to masterfully blend into their surroundings, concealing their razor-sharp fangs on top of dorsal fins. These fangs deliver a lethal dose of venom, potent enough to be fatal. That venom would go into your bloodstream and uh, as well as being very painful. What heightens the treachery is their tendency to lurk in shallow areas of rivers or- See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Easily for you to step on that and not even, you, you would have thought it was a rock. Or coral reefs in the Indian and Pacific Oceans, waiting for unsuspecting victims to step on them. The sharp fangs can easily penetrate any hard surface, swiftly injecting venom based on the applied pressure posing a severe threat. Gigantic alligator gar. Absolute monstrous animal this is, incredible. Considering how rare and endangered alligator gars are said to be, this catch was a double jackpot. The host of a YouTube channel, Wildlife, was hoping to catch a 100 pound alligator gar. This is a huge fish. Lord God, I thought we were, ah! Within its territory only to find one much bigger than he expected. Uh, gotcha! Gotcha! He ain't got no help. He needs some help. Kind of. He's gonna go through the rope. The footage dating to May 2022 shows him reeling out a gigantic alligator gar using a huge mullet head as bait. After several minutes of physical strain, gar measured to be eight feet and two inches long. Feet and two inches, guys. We are about three inches shy of the world record with this. Weighing over 300 pounds was pulled out using a rod and a rope. With how rare they are and play a key role in the environment, it was released back shortly after. Rare fish catch. Due to the rarity of this fish, some might take it to be a scary kind of snake, while others might consider it to be an eel. Anglers off the coast of Sri Lanka found and captured this rare viper fish while on a regular fishing routine. A viper fish grows to lengths of 12 inches and has long needle-like teeth on hinged lower jaws. These fishes undergo deal vertical migration and are found all over the world in tropical and temperate oceans. Viper fishes possess photospores along the ventral side of their body that likely used to camouflage them by blending in with less than 1% of the light that reaches below 200 meters depth. Large Trevelli. Indian fishermen that were 10 miles off the Kasumiti beach managed to catch a Trevelli fish. That was much larger than usual. Trevelli, a type of fish found in tropical and subtropical waters, belongs to the Karangidi family. Known for speed and agility, these silvery predators are popular among anglers. Those jokers look like they'll put up a fight. Various species, such as the giant trevally, inhabit coastal areas and reefs, showcasing a diverse range of sizes and behaviors. Blanket octopus. When it comes to octopuses, blanket octopus never fails to amaze being one of the most rare and unique among its species. A harbor maintenance worker on Romblin Island, Philippines, discovered a floating octopus at the water's surface. The octopus, seemingly sick or disoriented, showcased its distinctive features. These creatures are notable for their long and diverse tentacles. Female octopuses can grow arms up to two meters, connected by transparent webs. In contrast, males, only about an inch in size, 
dedicate their lives to mating. They possess a massive arm called a hectocolitus, neatly tucked within a spherical pouch, exclusively used for mating purposes. The encounter highlighted the intriguing and varied characteristics of these remarkable cephalopods. Greater Amberjack Catch To find and make bigger catches, you need to have bigger baits. While wreck fishing, these fishermen were looking to break their record of 60-pound amberjack until they finally found an even bigger catch. Man. It's a giant! Oh Look at God. that taste! Using a decent-sized blue runner as live bait, they were able to find this monster oh. amberjack that hit the weighing scale at 92 pounds. 90-pound amberjack, guys! What do you even do with that? Like, I'm thinking about frying it. Yes, I like to fry fish. I'm thinking about, what do they do with it? <laughs> like, what are they doing with that? I need to know. Interestingly, this massive amberjack had no worms, which are known to be common among the amberjacks of this size. The bait, however, remained intact within its mouth, so much so that it could be pulled out and can be reused again. Reuse again. Heavy monkfish. <laughs> Fishing from the surface may yield some decent results, whereas doing it on a dive might improve the odds of making a good catch. A group of spearfish managed to capture a 20 kilogram monkfish while spearfishing in the Fjords of Norway. <laughs> According to these divers, they spearfish around pipes that discard land-based fish farms into the water, creating an ecosystem where bits of food attract shoals of coalfish. The commotion also draws larger predators, making it an ideal spot for spearfishing. Along with the monkfish, they also caught sizable cods, making it a big game fishing adventure. World Record Marlin. The expertise of different anglers combined creates outcomes far inconceivable. In February 2020, surface fishermen, along with spear divers, banded together to fish at Tropic Star Lodge, 25 miles offshore of the Panama coast, where they scored a world record-sized Pacific blue marlin. The giant marlin caught the lead diver in surprise. So many times. Each time, I just kept getting like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening. As it suddenly appeared chasing around its prey in speed and aggressive posture. The diver speared the giant marlin as soon as he could. And with the combined help of the surface anglers, they successfully pulled it out. This marlin weighed over 480 pounds. After we got her in the boat, took her back to camp, she weighed 480.9 pounds. Boat Biting Pike. Yeah. Talk about holding a grudge. This pike fish stuck around thinking it was leaving an intimidating message, only to end up getting caught. A father and son were out on a boating trip to fish when a pike fish that they were attempting to catch grounded itself but bit onto the boat, helping them to almost take it offshore with little to no effort. However, upon reaching the shallow water, the pike let go of the boat at which point the junior managed to pull it close enough using the rod before it was finally taken out. Dead zone catch. What we got, baby? That's a shark, that's a shark. Swamps and alligator territory may always be a no-go place Troy. until they all have- That's Troy, right? My guy, is that Troy from Swamp People? I forget his name. That might be his name, I don't know, but I know he's from Swamp People, that's my guy right there happened to disappear without a trace. A famous alligator hunter, Troy, Troy. Landry, teamed up with Smart local guy. experts to investigate the mysterious disappearance of gators from within their territory. What the hell happened? Where did they go? We're not seeing nothing. We're not seeing one swimming. We're not seeing where they're climbing on the bank. It's like every alligator in this area has just vanished. With alligators supposedly rich in the area, they got even more curious when they noticed a large fish from a distance and set up their fishing lines to catch them. What you got? There what you go, got, there what you we go. Got, Bill? What we got, Bill? I'm almost certain this is gonna be a shark. After a short while, they managed to reel in two sharks from the assumed dead zone, which left them surprised. 
go, Bill. Way to go. We're seeing this more and more. Sharks being in places they shouldn't be or not known to be. What is going on? What is causing them to shift right now? Unbelievable. The presence of sharks, change in weather, and the composition of water were revealed to be a major cause for gators to be driven out of the area. Porcupine pufferfish. That damn pufferfish. Let's go. Holy oh, crap. That's a big boy. If you thought fishes have too many spines, you probably haven't heard or seen a porcupine pufferfish. Family friends went out for a fishing expedition in Florida State Park where they found pufferfish, which upon reeling out suddenly bloated to the extent that its spiny skin got its scales all standing up. With this fish also being poisonous by nature, they decided to let it go. Go ahead and release the pufferfish. Oh, no, buddy. If the spines won't get you, it's the lethal pathogens that certainly could. Stealing hammerhead. Well, a fishing guide comes face to face with a massive hammerhead shark. The fish he just hooked ripped from his grip. In August 2019, a fishing guide faced a dramatic encounter with a massive hammerhead shark, stealing the show along with the catch while posing with a prized tarpon for a photo near Anna Marie Island. The unexpected happened. He just took it out of my hand. The tarpon was abruptly snatched from the captain's grasp by a hungry hammerhead shark. Despite the captain's attempt to remove the hook, the fish was dragged into the depths of the ocean by the powerful shark. The incident showcased the unpredictable nature of marine encounters and the constant struggle between predator and prey in the vast expanse of the sea. Giant Squid Oh, I see something down there. Yeah, that's yeah. the squid. Oh, there he is. Ah! Look at him. Regardless if it's your regular bass, fish, or a giant squid, catching marine animals involves far pinpointing the right geographical location, aside from setting up the bait. Joshua Jorgensen, a renowned YouTube Black Tip H producer, teamed up with Dr. Marwin, an expert in catching giant squid in the Gulf of Akba. The process, more intricate than regular fishing, involves selecting the right bait size and depth. We use the, the big one only, alone. You think there's too much weight on it? Yes, yes. An electric pen reel was crucial for tracking and locating a squid. He doesn't like it. Look, 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 look. Oh my gosh. After dropping the bait at a depth of 700 meters, a squid finally took the bait. And minutes later, it was successfully pulled to the surface. Look at the size of that squid. Yep. Are you kidding me? Sea snake close call. You just say Brian got bitten by a sea snake. No, not Brian just got bitten by a twin. Whether you encounter a snake on land or the water. I don't know why they make an announcement for it. It seemed like he wanted to get bit as much as he kept playing around with it. One time I'm letting it go about his business. You still trying to hold on to him. They all pose the same level of risk. A renowned wildlife biologist and TV host Forrest Galante, along with leading venom researchers, banded together to catch one of the deadliest snakes in the world for venom research. Despite the expertise, the snake that they caught was shy at first, before suddenly turning aggressive. Once it was restrained after several attempts to carefully grasp it, it was brought out for a sample of its venom before being released back into the sea. Bare-handed shark fishing. The old ways of fishing, such as this, prove that fishing is not just about having state-of-the-art equipment, but rather about experience and technique. In June 2020, a Melanesian tribesman demonstrated his shark-catching skills in a narrow wooden boat. Using loosely attached wooden discs and bait fish, he lured a six-foot shark. With a stick, he guided the shark to a lasso, securing it to a wooden plank. With the plank being less dense than water, it naturally remained afloat and trapped the shark on the surface. Exhausted from resistance, the shark became an easy catch. Wow. The tribesmen showcased a traditional and resourceful approach to shark fishing, highlighting the unique methods employed by indigenous communities for generations. You gotta really know what you're doing playing around with a shark like that. 
You know what I mean? But I think I've seen that before where they take that little thing he had, look like a paddle or something, and he'd just be hitting them with it, hitting them over the head and body with it until it knocked him out. <laughs> Crab fishing. Aside from using crab traps, sometimes a live bait yields results far more quicker and effective. An angler demonstrated his technique of catching a large number of crabs instantly using a whole raw chicken as bait. Within seconds as he pulls the bait out, can catch dozens of tiny crabs feeding on it. This technique probably could be far more effective against larger crabs. Unexpected Resurgence Damn. Oh! <laughs> Did you see that? A bad day at fishing isn't just about not finding a catch, but having one snatched away at the last minute. During a Miami coast fishing trip, an elderly couple experienced an exhilarating encounter when a massive shark stole their catch. The angler initially believed he had hooked a significant prey. Oh no. But to his surprise, a huge shark lunged onto the fishing line, snatching the remains. As the remnant surfaced, the aggressive shark swiftly grabbed them with its teeth, cutting the line and disappeared into the water. The couple, astonished by the predatory act, captured the moment on video, showcasing the raw power and efficiency of the formidable marine predator. <laughs> Did you see that? Fishing for sailfish. Among the challenging catches, the sailfish is considered one of the toughest. A team of seasoned fishermen joined by enthusiasts ventured into the open waters of Florida, aiming to hook one of the fastest fish using kite fishing. It's gonna be our bow kite. I need a, we're gonna be flying two kites, so I need to bank it to the right. After 50 minutes of setting up the fishing line, a sailfish took the bait, initiating a rigorous reeling process. We gotta fish, fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh, there is, sail, reel, 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 reel. Known for their speed, the sailfish put up a formidable fight, requiring skill and perseverance to bring it closer. The success of the endeavor was attributed to the use of live bait. Them jokers make me nervous. This feel like they could just stab you if they just turn or move real quick or something like that. They could stab you and have you bleeding out. And the technique of kite fishing, essential for outsmarting these swift, and elusive oceanic athletes. Rare Kaluga. Some fishes or marine animals are rarer than others, so much so that finding them is almost like a jackpot. In August 2014, an ordinary day for a fisherman in Higan City, Hulanjeg Province turned extraordinary when he hauled in a massive Kaluga sturgeon weighing 270 kilograms. This once-in-a-lifetime catch deemed exceptionally rare prompted quick action. Within a day, the fisherman made the decision to sell his extraordinary prize, fetching a substantial sum of 60,000 yen, equivalent to around $10,000. The impressive catch Pretty showcases good. the rewarding potential of fishing expeditions. Sword fishing. With spears and arrows being used for fishing turning into a norm, it was only a matter of time before someone resorted to using a sword. A Sri Lankan vlogger shared this I thought that's what he had. I thought he had a sword. clip of himself fishing in a shallow part of the river by using a sword to knock out the fish before collecting them. While most viewers and other fishermen might disagree with his methods, to him, it is quite effective. Pigsy Floater What's interesting about finding this pig sea floating in the middle of a river is that it has human-like hands. It is. Raccoon? I don't know. Villagers in the Philippines found this pig or boat that was floating in the river with its upside down. As they got closer to take a look at it, they were left astonished seeing how it had human-like hands. Now, this could either have been a case of evolution mutation, or just secret experimentation that started to turn this animal into human body-like parts, and it could be that this was a failed test subject that was dumped in the river. Now nah, you can leave that bacon in the water. Gigantic Catfish 
For a catfish, being called giant or gigantic might be the norm, but this one definitely is quite the exception. While free diving at Lake Waidsee in Germany, a diver came across this gigantic catfish that looked almost like a Goliath grouper at a depth of 8 meters underwater. According to him, this catfish was way more than twice his size, which initially spooked him but was fascinated at the same time. On the bright side, this shows that the aquatic life, at least in this lake, is still rich and flourishing. Lone Fisherman's Catch ah, Holy smokers! <laughs> when it comes to fishing for the big game, the odds of missing are far too high. But this fisherman proved otherwise. Footage recorded by GoPro camera dating back to September 2023 shows a lone fisherman who, moments into the clip, managed to hook, grab, and pull in a huge big eye tuna into his boat with no helping hand around to assist. Judging from the size of the catch and rough seas, showed the level of skill that this fisherman possesses. Fish and he was barefoot, bro. You did all of that while being barefoot. That's pretty impressive. I can't lie to you. Fishing large tuna. <laughs> Though large catches are usually made by boaters, fortune favored this fisherman. A Montagero shore fisherman who after spending nearly three hours fishing at a spot in Lustica, didn't manage to catch attention until he decided to try popper. After a few tosses and several minutes, a large fish caught his bait, starting a fierce tug of war that lasted for over an hour. The angler, along with some help, managed to successfully reel it out. <laughs> the catch was revealed to be a large tuna that weighed 59 kilograms. Having to make such a large catch while being on the rocky beach is quite the catch considering how valuable the tunas are. Outcast Sport Fishing Are you kidding me? <laughs> For fishes that live in Pyramid Lake, growing really fast helps a challenge of how big of a bait that you might need to catch one. A group of boaters searching for a game catch off the coast of Pyramid Lake, Nevada captured a 24-inch Lauenton cutthroat trout. It had recently hunted a 14-inch two chub and was feeding on it when it was being reeled in. You ever see that before? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Look at the size of that bait. That was in him. According to these boaters who frequently fish in these waters, this Lahouten cutthroat trout catch was one of their biggest. Fishing Skeleton Sometimes it's not just the deal-breaking catches that leave you mesmerized, but also discoveries such as this. In October 2022, a fisherman at the Ponta Negra Beach in Brazil discovered a skeleton in shallow water while fishing. Its human skeletal Dang. remains left everyone concerned to be a homicide. Until forensic examination unveiled it to be a unique hybrid nature combining human and fish characteristics, or mermaid. While not a typical human skeleton, it stirred intrigue among experts, leading to ongoing studies to better understand its distinct features and origin. Unusually aggressive. I'm surprised they don't pull more bodies out of the water. I'm, I'm surprised at that. As much, as much stuff is happening and crime and stuff and people dumping bodies, in, I'm surprised they don't pull more bodies out. Predator. If you are going out for bait fishing, you can almost always expect to run into either an aggressive shark or a gator. A crew of everyday fishermen in Alsmerado, Florida, used a usually huge bait of a fish, hoping to catch a grouper. Within moments, they were left surprised to see a gnarly shark that appeared and lunged onto the bait in quite an unusually aggressive manner, attempting to rip away the cord. After several seconds of struggle, it finally let go of the bait, taking a huge chunk of the bait fish along with it. <laughs> Leafy Sea Dragon For something that looks quite like a seahorse, 
the sight of this marine entity is quite amazing. During a spear dive in November 2018, a diver who was in search of big game found this leafy sea dragon south of Adelaide in South Australia. Upon encountering it, he initially thought it to be a krill or vegetation of some kind. Resembling a seahorse with delicate branch-like limbs, it moved with grace, swaying its leaves in the water, transforming the underwater scene into a mesmerizing spectacle. It was later on identified by a marine biologist. Lined Manta Ray There is no telling of what you might end up on the end of your line, especially when both the bait and fishing line is bigger than usual. A group of recreational fishermen who were hoping to catch a decent-sized shark thought that they had one hooked. Upon reeling, they discovered it to be a 16-foot manta ray, and not the shark that they were expecting it to be. With the hope of finding a shark turning futile, the fishermen got closer to remove the line and kept searching for a shark. Colorful Queen Triggerfish Somebody pretty. hit him. Very pretty, bro. Just when you think the odds of catching something unique to be slim, this one reeled out a very decent looking catch. Beautiful one. Wow. Out of a group of recreational fishermen, one of them managed to catch a very colorful queen triggerfish while trying to hook a mutton snapper. The queen triggerfish, or Bastiles vetule, is a vibrant, reef-dwelling species found in tropical Atlantic waters. Known for its distinctive coloration and fin displays, while the name and its physical nature might make it rare or endangered, that's not the case. Mullet Run Fishing Most times you have to pull an extra effort to find the right spot for fishing, whereas nature itself presents an opportunity sometimes. Two fishermen were just starting their day by preparing for a fishing trip until the fish came right to them. I mean. The mullets that were making their fall ran in a massive group that appeared close to the beach. The fishermen were smart enough to spread a medium-sized fishing net and were able to catch most mullets, even in a single cast, so much so that their entire boat was full of the catch, leaving bystanders in awe. Taxed Catch Imagine the frustration of having your every single massive catch tax decor just as you do with your income. Three very seasoned fishermen off the coast of Florida were being tailed by a giant shark that kept on stealing their catch. At first, they hooked a large kingfish that was suddenly jumped on by a shark that bit off a huge chunk, leaving only half of its body that was reeled out. Nearly an hour later, the same fisherman hooked a huge black marlin, and it wasn't long until the same shark appeared and attempted to snatch away their catch. After a brief struggle, the fishermen were able to reel out less than half of this catch as well. Sneaking up Yo. on crab. If there is anything scarier than walking into a quicksand like muddy swamp, it is to sneak up on a giant crab and attempt to catch it barehanded. An Indonesian fisherman shared this short clip of his daily run rounds, making his way through the mud towards the shadow water area to catch a giant. Using his bare hands, the fisherman narrowly dodges the crab claws before overpowering it and securing it using a cord. One wrong move in such a technique could potentially be at the cost of losing one or more fingers. Ooh. Stranded orcas relieved. Rescue workers braved freezing waters to save four orcas who'd got trapped between ice in the far east of Russia. Whenever it comes to frozen waters, it always holds attention-grabbing mysteries, just as this time. In April 2016, a crew of fishing men called in for help from the Navy after discovering four orcas that had been trapped in icy waters off the coast of Russia. After several hours of effort in breaking the ice, the sailors of the Russian Navy were finally able to create a pathway and rescue the trapped orcas. Mysterious Aquatic Creature With only a scratch of underwater life being discovered and studied, sightings of the unrecognizable aquatic creatures often leave everyone speechless. An unidentified aquatic creature 
captured in a clip from an anonymous source, was spotted swimming near the coast of Thailand. Resembling the texture of a squid or octopus, its body structure- oh, I've never seen something like that. What is that? Sure differed significantly. The observer noticed its lack of sudden movements, almost appearing lifeless. Soon after the recording, the mysterious marine animal vanished without a trace. What do you think it may or may not have been? Do share with us your opinion in the comments. What it is is another reason for me not to go in the water. Known worm entity. Call it an alien or undiscovered marine species. The nature of this entity remains unclear. In December 2016, an angler encountered an unrecognizable worm-like creature in his fishing net, sparking curiosity and surprise. Initially thought to be a species of basket star, its distinct body anatomy ruled out that possibility. The angler recorded footage of the mysterious entity, sharing it on social media in hopes of identification. Despite speculations, no one has been able to determine the nature of this creature to date. The strange find remains a puzzle, leaving observers and experts alike unable to classify or explain its unique characteristics. These pictures and videos were captured on July 28, 2021, off the coast in Trinidad, where an elderly couple that was out fishing caught a series of huge and bizarre catches. One of their crab traps that were set up deep under that upon sudden activity decided to reel in up only to find this gigantic wolf eel fish that they reeled in. Things only got weirder as on the same day they made another gigantic catch, only this one looked astonishingly weird. The man that was holding it claimed it to be some rare Algerian fish species that had a gorilla-like face while its body resembled that of a hair animal. The image and footage of their claim soon went viral with most viewers left either stunned or outright confused.